Yeah, that that's I think that's the only thing I've ever asked to have. I'm not hearing anything. How about now? I still didn't hear anything. You don't have your mic muted, do you? I have it on in Gamecaster. You don't have a push to talk set in Gamecaster, do you? Let me check. Hello everybody, welcome to the road show. So glad to see you all here. I'm Diva and I'm here with Fiendish. And today we're going to be going through the contest winners from the Animal Morphing Contest. <coughs> Before we get going with that, Fiendish, what's in the news this week? Uh, there's not a whole lot in the news this week. Uh, Mordecus is finishing up some stuff for crafting. Uh, which will actually be interesting since uh, they said there was some stuff coming for Dreamweaving. Um, in addition to that, the sky seems to have changed in Puss Swamp. It's no longer purple, it is now orange. So if you have a build going in there, you might want to check it out if you haven't already. And if it's not right, then please submit a bug report and give some feedback. Along with that, uh, pond reflections uh, appear to have also changed. Yeah, it's really noticeable in... Um, endless eclipse and not so much in most of the other dimensions uh, I, I approve that change so uh, anything that doesn't seem right to you please 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 bug reports are your friend and that's about all we got for news diva okay great thanks fiendish so before we get started I just wanted to say that all of the entries in the animal morphing contest were so wonderful it was really hard to narrow it down and choose only the eight that we're going to try to see today I'm not going to spend a lot of time in each one but if you have any questions things you want me to focus on more whatever while we're going through please type that in there and I'll, we will try to comply um, one thing I wanted to say is that you know judging is really different from touring and Fiendish and Rally and I spent a lot of time especially Rally doing internet research and so when we were judging we were measuring this and calibrating that and looking at all these minute details and today we're looking at the winners and we're not going to do any of that we're just going to have fun 
go through. We love these dimensions. They're so much fun to see. So we'll get started. First, we're going to go see That's Not My Fault by Moistia. So I'll meet you all there. Yeah, I agree with you on that, Diva. It's way more fun to go uh, just touring for fun than, than trying to, to look and and decide which one might be better because that's always a subjective thing. Yes. Much more fun to be wearing our touring hat. And here we are. And as you can see, Moist just set this scene beautifully. A room full of curious cats getting into trouble like only cats can. This one is just brilliant. I just love it. Look, we've got one there up on the curtains. One that sp spilled the drink and is helping himself to some tastes. I mean, I have cats and these stretching positions and you know so many details on this are just delightful yes they are and i one i like the the whichever one got a hold of the plant monster <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah i've lost many a plant that way even the rug has been scooched out of position i mean moisture's just thought of so many great details in this I really love how she has set the scene here. Hopefully most of you have gone to see this and will go see it again because it's one of these dimensions that has so many little great details. You know, I have to revisit multiple times to really, really see everything that I love. So this is just this is just a wonderful dimension. The pictures askew just brilliant and what a great name too that's not my fault I mean I just love that <coughs> so you know moisture one a uh, morphtastic mention which was a new group of prizes that I introduced because once I got into judging I was thinking 19 entries and when I start we started seeing them I mean they're all great I thought this just isn't gonna be enough prizes for you know all of these wonderful entries so I created these few extra ones anyway this one is just glorious yes it is uh, I just to mention that this one always makes me think of the Sad Cat Diaries. It's a video on YouTube by Z Frank. I don't think and I'm. If you ever watch it, I have, I don't think I've like seen that. If you like dogs and cats, well, yes, I yeah, do. If you like, then the Sad Dog Diaries and the Sad Cat Diaries. It's it's all where the, you get these sad looking dogs and cats and they're talking about all the stuff that they do that's bad, and but they don't understand that it's bad, you know, and the, and. Uh, the dogs always call their their owners, you know, my beloved humans, and the cats um, call their owners the authorities, and this pretty much signifies that. Oh, that's hilarious! I'll have to look those up. Uh, one of the things I watch all the time on YouTube is videos of soldiers returning home to their dogs, and if you need a pick me up, boy, it's really fun to watch those. Just as a little side note, I'm sitting here at my computer now. My cat is laying on my desk beside me. This is a good topic for while we're seeing this dimension. And I have a few little notes that I always have beside me for the road show. And she's chewing and biting and taking ownership of my notes. So typical cat behavior like we see here. Well, so let's move on to our next one we're going to go over to Zaviel now and look at a number of them over there so I will see you guys there in just a minute wave to moisture and here she is
Hooray! Hi, Moist, yeah. One thing I did really like about this contest was the number of the first time entrants and um, those that were like took a plunge and said, well, I've never morphed before. Uh, I think uh, Albert was one of those. Yes, that's right. That's one of my favorite parts of this contest too, Fiendish. Thank you for bringing that up. I'm not the quickest at changing shards, so I apologize for the little weights in here. Also, I should probably apologize because I'm going to slaughter everyone's names. I'm just terrible at pronouncing names, so pre-apologies. And I can't see what people are typing in chat right now, but I do always go back later and read what you guys have said. Moise well, says, sorry for the time to respond. She was fighting with her cats for her lunch. Oh! Okay, so now we're going to go see Snaggletooth's The Guardian. Snaggletooth is another winner of the Morphtastic Mention, and this is a really fun dimension, too. Yes, it is. Um, the one thing I, I liked about all of them was the, the way that items were used, and just some really creative picks like um, the helical spine trees in here for the wings. Yes, that's right. And I think this is one of the only ones that used terrain paint. Uh, yeah, I believe it is. I love his fire breath and he's got smoke rising above his head. Yeah, there are a lot of good details on, on this one that, that makes him really uh, stand out. And I love he's got one foot planted on the earth and one foot, I was going to say waving, but that's probably not very uh, good behavior for dragons. It's pro He's probably trying to claw something. So cute. And, and oh, and one of the items that was used in here that I really, really enjoyed, that just really kind of hard to make out, are the Kalari houses uh, that are his ears. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a really creative use of an unusual item. I like that. I guess this is I mean, some future the, dragons over yeah. here. Yeah, I think so. Now the thing about all of them that, you know, this is the heart, this is the, the definition of morphing is taking some random stuff <coughs> and, and creating something out of it. And I think morphing is really challenging and I was just so thrilled by all of the contest entries. Uh, it was just exciting to see such a big group of great morphs. Well, so next on our tour for today is we're going to stay here on Zaviel and go see Ouch by Frond. 
and I saw Sailor in the in the chat room today. Hey Sailor. Oh, here we are. I think the scorpion has got to be my favorite of all three of these. Oh, they're just all badass. This scorpion. Oh. And this has some really creative items, too, like these front pinchers or boats. Partly boats. Oh, isn't that awesome? Just love that. Don't get stung, fiendish. I'm trying not to. So this has a creative name, too. We've got all these stingers here. Ouch! And our hornet. Amazing. And this has such a good job of textures. She, she's layered these items to get just, you know, wonderful textures that really match what the animal is supposed to look like. It's so creative. And leg In position. The of the joint. Oh, yes. An antenna. I'm trying to get a look for you of these wings. I need my dwarf traveler here. Oh, there we go. You can see these hornet wings. And he's got a stinger. And Raleigh's Just saying wonderful. right now that the wings look really fragile, too, uh, which is an important element yes. to, to the wings. Very good point, Raleigh. And then we have this spider, which if you jump up on top of it there where Fiendish is going to jump, it's got the Black Widow markings up there. And again, these leg positions, I mean, they're just brilliant. And I really like how the head and body are these rocks. Yeah, jet boulders aren't they're they're handy and they're useful. Uh sometimes though their their texture and their shape makes them a little bit of a challenge, but here they work out beautifully for the spider's body. They really do. And there's a demonstration of why I call fiendish reference head because of course I call an item a rock because I can't remember what items are called. She remembers all of them so Jet Boulder, thank you reference head. She loves that nickname too. Oh yeah, I'm thrilled. Here I'll, pa I'll pan across for another look here. Just great. Great job. Really wonderful. So Frond got one of the Morphtastic mentions too. So now we're going to go on to see All That Glitters Is Mine by Netherella here on Zaviel. And that was Raleigh's Judge's Choice winner, wasn't it? It, it was. Yes, it was. I love the the concept uh, done here. 
Boy, when you first zone into all that glitters, the dragon's eyes just catch you. Don't they? Yes, they do. This is a really good dimension choice for this build. Love his claws wrapped around these posts in here. He's, of course, laying in his treasure as dragons do. There's some good, good illusion in here with the way that um, he's coming out the wall and uh, the appearance of the claws around here so that he seems like he's much larger than is actually shown. Yes. The, the, just the concept is, is fabulous. These cairns are such a good choice. Good color and texture. I like and also... Even making use of that dragon skull. Oh yes, that's a great detail. I was just going to mention, I like his treasure. <laughs> you look around some of the items in his treasure. Some are expected, yeah, some are unexpected. It's fun. Every dragon needs a little blue horse. Yeah! Oh, it's just really a beautiful job. A sailor does remind us that this is a first time morph too. And that is, this is one of the unbelievable ones like you were mentioning too fiendish. We had some new people in this which is just so much fun to see that new work. It is. That's, that's some good creative lifeblood for our community. Definitely. I just love this view you get when you first zone in of that dragon down at the end of the foggy hallway just waiting for you. <laughs> so it's off to Typheria now to see the next one so I'll see you there in just a minute. And we're going to head to Obsictor's Dragonfly Hill. This was Fiendish's Judge's Choice Award. Yes. I love that. I love that. Even though um, it's mechanical, uh, I'm, I'm a fan of building blocks. And this is built from a lot of building blocks. But there's some other really creative ideas in here with the ship engines and the way that the wings are built and the way that the legs are done. Um, the concept of this is just great. Now it just looks spectacular when you come in for the first time and see this. That huge wing span and his 
super long body and the body position and the leg position, the wing extension. I mean, it's just spectacular. Yeah, and Ob Sichter's got a lot of talent. Uh, he did a really good Tyrannosaurus Rex for um, uh, the Setting the Scene contest. And his other builds, uh, he did a commission for a guy named Foofy, and then the <coughs> Apotheosis Guild dimension as well, and he just has a lot of talent. Um, he also gives back. Uh, he's done a, he's working on a video series, uh, building, uh, dimension building videos, and those are on the Rift, uh, Rift forums under Guides and Strategies with Dimension Guides. That's great information. So we passed Maliana over here. She, I guess she's scoping out the flight path. Yeah, she, she gets around. Not quite as much as that guy Nico, but she does get around. Here from the front, you know, the eyes and the head. can really get a look at structure of his legs and feet. Just cool! Yes, it is. His antenna. Taylor says, even as a machine, this is extremely lifelike, and I, I would agree with that. Yes. And Katasia is with us this morning. Hi, Kit. Uh, she says, that is just dot, dot, dot. I love contests that have something like Judge's Choice Awards because if you get an entry that uh, like in my contest was largely about realism being compared against you know real animals or against the ex the example the existing example of a fictional animal um, Judge's Choice Award lets you give an award to something that's awesome that may not fulfill all of the specific criteria of the contest. And this one is badass. Yes, it is. And I picked it first. Na, 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 na. Oh boy. Okay, so let's go on to our next one and we're going to be hopping over to Galidra. So I'll try to hurry. I know you all are marveling at how long it takes me to chain shards. I'll have to give you a partial refund off your ticket price. And we're going to head into Enchanted Forest by Polynomia, which was actually my Judge's Choice Award winner. Fairing Woods is such a good base dimension for a theme like this. It really is perfect.
and when we were judging, we did just judge on the morphs. Um, but isn't this a gorgeous scene anyway? If you were here, you wouldn't really be surprised if you stumbled upon a unicorn. I like how he has one hoof raised. Well, Polly did a really, really good job of setting some context for this and, and really adding to the feel of, of favoring wood. With the butterflies and the, the, the other stuff floating in the air. Yes. This is a great setting. Kit says she wants it. Yeah. <laughs> We're so glad you're back and doing well, Kit. We love you. I know, you know, when, you, when you're judging, you look at so many little details, so I know this sounds like such a weird comment, but I think that his nose and his nostrils are just so perfect. <coughs> Yeah, that really, the shape of the, the skull that was used to make it really kind of fit in there. I like his horn. He, she, I'm, I'm not going to do a close enough examination to determine its gender. So pretty. Love this one. So let's hop over to Blood Iron now. Uh, we're going to go see the second place winner in the contest. I really like that one too. <coughs> Honestly, I, it was something I had not expected to see in this contest at all. I would have to agree with you there. But that's also why it's so fun. Totally unexpected. And it's, it's nice to have a winner from Blood Iron. Yes, it is. Now, I believe this is another first time morpher as well. Yep. I think Deepwood Cottage is a, is a, bit of an appropriate choice for this in a way too although of course we don't judge on that so you can even get a look at him from way up here oh and the fog
He's ready for his dinner, too. All these wonderful tentacles. Of course, Rally, I think, is has practically gotten her doctorate in marine biology based on the research that she did for judging this particular morph. How many red sacks? Maybe we should have a contest sometime to guess how many were used here. A lot. Sailor says that this builder must be very patient. I think the red sacks are so creative because it not only makes his tentacle, but it makes the little suction part thingy on his, that's the technical term for it, thingy. But, you know, when you look at the body shape and his, the fin down below the water that he uses to propel himself and the position of the eyes, I mean, we look at it and think this is just brilliant. But it's also really, really accurate. Which makes me wonder if the guy that made this is a marine biologist. You never know. All these or somebody that jugs. spent a very long time on Google Images looking at squids. I bet. He's even got things like the vent, and let's go, I'll move in so you can get a close look at his, um, uh, word just left my mind, his, his mouth here. His beak! And I love that it's moving. Such a cool detail. And did you know that squids have two of their tentacles are skinnier than the others? Right, Rally? And these are in such interesting positions, too. He's got some going up as they're as if they're trying to grasp something and then these two are these upper ones are flopped over I mean it's just really good body and tentacle position and a whole lot of patience to maneuver all those things yeah wowie wow Rally answered you. She said yes, two are much longer and then wider at the end. So this is the end of one of those skinny ones, so it is a lot wider. So that's really accurate details, and I think that's the other one. And then the others are more slender, but... Isn't he cool? I think he's cool. Since I'm actually on a dwarf, I'm I'm trying to launch myself into the mouth. That was a good jump. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll I'll behave. Oh no, we won't like you if you behave. It'll be something new. We won't know how to treat you then. So n now we're gonna head over to the NA servers, and I'll see you guys on Lathus. And you're probably going to lose all picture, but I'll be right back. And this is Bella Rosa's first contest. Uh, yes. She's been building for a while now. 
And she's a returning uh, Rift player. Yes. I think she kind of gets time to play in between her uh, university coursework. The Hive. And Temple of the Abandoned is so beautiful and I think it makes a good setting for this. I don't know if any of you have read the post that I did on this dimension for the DTC, but um, she mentioned that she chose this dimension because she wanted it to seem like the wasps had come in and taken over this abandoned structure. I, I love how you zone in and there's this wasp is right in your face. And she's done the different wasps. Uh, she built them each separately and they have little different markings if you look around on their bodies and faces uh, because that's how of course real wasps are and let's get close to one here no she told me that she yeah, sp spent hours and hours and hours and hours and hours on Google looking at wasps and hives and so forth <coughs> Go ahead, Fiendish. And not even just the wasps. I know the wasps were what we judged, but one thing I did really like about this was that she actually built the hive, and then um, if, if you look at this one wasp, it's got his butt sticking out of the hive. Yeah, that one's so amusing. And I don't have, I can't have my sound on in the game but it when you come here in person as you get closer and closer to the hive you'll notice that you can hear more and more buzzing it's because of all the beehives she stuffed in there to create that I call it a special effect and then this big one right here that's a little bit fatter this big one right here that's a little bit fatter is the queen <coughs> She's pretty much the same, except for her little bit fat abdomen. Maybe she sits around more and gets weighted on. And Bellarosa has put, you know, wasps in different positions here around on the hive, too. One up there at the top. And they're, you notice their wings are in somewhat different positions depending on what their position is. Two. And some of these items, you know, like um, brooms for the feet, and of course a ton of cheese, and these olive feathers, and uh, let's see, hammer and tongs for their mouths. It's just really fun. Yeah, the M4I for their bodies and then the plow Yep. Uh, for the antenna. Yeah. If you get close you can see these markings on their bodies. These are super, super accurate if you go do research on wasps, which I know you're all going to do after the road show is over. You'll see that, I mean, these are just body position, body coloring, body size and shape for the most part, 
hit, you know, head shape. They're just really spot on. But they're a lot of fun, too. Yes, they are. And this is another one that shows, like, some action and movement. That's true, and even these little bees from the hives that are fluttering around add kind of a flavor to the dimension. So cute. So you know we've... Uh, I didn't mention this, Bellarose actually won first place in this contest. I guess you guys know that. Um, and I did have the pleasure of talking with her about this yesterday, so a lot of that's in that article. If you want to see f a few more funny sort of behind the scenes bits of information, you can read that article. But, you know, I was thinking since I think it's early. It's not yet one, is it? Fiendish? No, it's a uh, 11.44 server. We still got about 15 minutes. So, you know, I was wondering if we could go sneak in and we'll tiptoe. Because Fiendish found a dimension that has some animal morphs in it that are so cute. And of course, it wasn't a contest entry. And we probably shouldn't go in because it's not finished. But since it's public, I mean, nothing's keeping us out. Where was that one again, Fiendish? Was it on Brissasol? Yeah, it was on Brissasol. Let's pop back over to EU and go on Brissasol. You guys will all get a kick out of this one. And this is why if you don't want anyone to go see it before it's done, you should probably close it. That's very good advice. That I never take. Because there's a little Dimension Ninja running around everywhere that will find it. If you leave the door just cracked a centimeter, she will get in there. I won't mention any names. And of course, reference said I've already forgotten the name of this dimension too. Uh, I'm going to butcher this. Christu Logement. Oh! Yes, I remember. Thank you. It's third on the weekly in case you guys want to come. Oh, it's second on the weekly, sorry. In case you guys want to come and look at it. So you see you're arriving, you're on this ship, and you're out in the ocean, and you see the Aurora Borealis isn't that cool? I really like the use of the water terrain paint here and I think the space guy really helped um, make the water terrain paint not so I don't know I normally don't care for it myself I think it works, it works really works well. well yeah it does so See why I wanted to show you guys this? It's got a bunch of animal morphs. And they're just... I just love them. Two little smoochy seals. And then Mr. and Mrs. Walrus. And the three bears. And the little penguin f family. They got a baby and a toddler. Those tusks on the walruses. I 
And you like the whale. And I love the whale. Isn't he cute? He is very cute. Love that. He's got his own spout. Water spout. Here's Mr. Solo here. Another little penguin guy. And we think this isn't done since they have quite a bit of item count left. I mean, I think it's kind of surprising that this is 206. But there's a lone ice cube over there that looks like it promises to be something in the future. So you probably want to check back for this one. Uh, I think it already looks great. I'm looking forward to seeing what unfolds here. Gosh, Fiendish, we've never been in this position before where it's early. Hey, that sounds like uh, an extra little bit of time off this afternoon. <coughs> so, there's no news, no specific definite news in the world of dimension contests, but I have talked to two well-known people in the dimension community who are planning contests uh, for the near future, one the very near future, and so that's something fun for us to be looking forward to. Um, I think it, it'll be a change from the animal morphing contest, so maybe people that wants a change of pace that will enjoy that. Well, I guess we're going to close up early today. Thank you all so much for coming and touring with us today. I just, you know, want to compliment all of the builders who created an entry for the Animal Morphing Contest. This was my first contest and I had high expectations for what it was going to be like and all my expectations were exceeded. Everybody did great work. It was wonderful going around touring. Also seeing the the group tour the tour groups that got together to go around and visit all of the entries. That's always so much fun for me to see that. And it, it sounds like people really have fun doing that too. So, you know, it was just a total pleasure. And I want to thank very much Fiendish. Thank you so much for being a judge on my contest. As having run so many contests, being a judge, and just being so experienced with dimensions it helped me so much to have you on board and rally I want to thank you too you were new to judging this time I think you did an excellent job and uh, you are just a researcher extraordinaire it contributed so much to having great judging thank you both very much so I guess that's it for today and I hope you all have a wonderful fun day oh See, I told you, she gets in everywhere. It's our own dimension <laughs> engine yes, here, does. Sailor. Yes, she does. And before you turn off the sound, Diva, yes. um, I think I'm going to speak for a lot of people here when I say no one would ever have guessed that this was your first contest. Uh, you took a great idea, you ran with it, you ran it professionally, and you ran it well. So kudos to you, and I hope you run some more. Oh, well, thank you so much. That means so much to me, Fiendish. I really appreciate it. Ta-ta, everyone. We'll see you next week. Have a good weekend.